Hello, Hugo, Ali, and Ali. It's Mama here, and I'm still in Waska Sioux, and I'm going to read you another book. Now, this is a really interesting book. It's called The Berenstain Bears Learn About Strangers. And when Papa and Auntie Jossie and Uncle Kenny were little, I read them the same book. It's just a book about a few things that you should know about. Bear country is safe, where Every small cub there learns some special lessons, lessons from Ma and Papa Bear. Brother and Sister Bear, who lived with their Mama and Papa in the big tree house down a sunny dirt road deep in bear country, looked quite a lot alike. Except for the fact that brother was a boy cub and sister was a girl cub, they were alike in many ways. And even though they had each had hobbies, brother liked to build and fly model airplanes, Ollie and Hugo like superheroes, and sister had all sorts of special interests like, like Ellie does with dancing, they enjoyed many of the same things, bike riding, baseball, soccer, frisbee, and just getting outside and enjoying nature. Just getting outside and jumping on your trampoline. Yes, brother and sister were alike in many ways, but in some important ways, they were different. Brother Bear was cautious and careful and a little wary of strangers. Sister, on the ha other hand, wasn't the least bit wary. She was friendly to a fault. Just about everybody that came her way got a big hello. Hello, butterfly. Hello, frog. Hello, truck driver. Hello, Mrs. Shopper. Brother worried about sister's free and easy way with strangers. Strangers weren't a problem for him. Not, ta not talking to strangers suited cautious and careful brother just fine. But friendly to a fault sister was different. She talked to everybody. Hello, hi, hi everyone. Sister said, brother, you're going to have to stop that. Stop what, she asked talking to strangers. It's just not a good idea. Why? She wanted to know. Why shouldn't I talk to strangers? What harm is there in it? Is there something wrong with strangers? Hmm, said brother, thinking about it for a moment. Those questions, those aren't questions for a brother. Those are questions for a mama or a papa or a daddy. Sister Bear, I'm glad you asked those questions said Papa Bear in his deepest and most serious voice. The reason you should never talk to a stranger and never ever take presents from a stranger and never ever ever go anywhere with a stranger is that it can be dangerous. What's dangerous about it? She asked wide-eyed. What can happen? Oh dear, thought Mama Bear. I do hope Papa can tell sister about strangers without making everything scary. Well, all sorts of things, said Papa. Look here in the newspaper. As she looked at it, her eyes got wider and wider. So this is what's in the newspaper. Stranger bothers cub. Missing cub found. Chief Grizzly questions stranger. There was a cub safety meeting. I hope you're all paying attention to, attention to this. Paying attention to this called Papa to Brother Bear. Yes, Papa, said Brother, looking up from his airplanes. When Sister asked for a bedtime story that evening, Papa said, of course, I have just the one. It was an old book that Papa had kept since he was a cub. The story was called Silly Goose and Wily Fox. It told how Silly Goose got into a conversation with Wily Fox. There they are. And before Silly quite knew what was happening, she found herself in Wiley's lair. And this is how the story ended. So there, there they are, they went to his lair. Uh-oh, then there was a snip and a snap and all that was left of Silly Goose was a few floating feathers and a smile on Wiley Fox's face. I think Wiley Fox ate Silly Goose. Sister had a hard time falling asleep that night. Her mind was filled with those headlines. 
There was even one that said, Silly Goose, missing, Wily Fox, questioned. So Sister looks pretty worried in bed. The sound of Brother's peaceful breathing finally lulled her to sleep. The next day dawned bright and friendly to everyone. I think I'm going to fold the book back there. You guys can see a little bit better now. The day dawned bright and friendly to everyone but Sister. She had spent a restless night, and when she looked out the window, everything seemed a little strange. The trees seemed to reach for her, an owl stared at her, and the crows glared at her. Hmm, I wonder if that was really happening or she just thought that was happening. Let's go out and ride our bikes on the village green, said Brother after breakfast. But Sister didn't want to. Pu Brother was puzzled. The green was a bright, busy, friendly place where she loved to play. Well, how about some soccer? But she didn't want to do that either. It wasn't until he suggested Frisbee, her favorite game, that she agreed to go along. Her sister is, I think, pretty worried. Before they left, they told Mama where they'd be. That's a family rule. That's a good rule to have. Because they never went anywhere without telling Mama or Papa or Daddy where they were going. That's fine, said Mama. I'm on my way to Farmer Ben's for apples. I'll stop by for you on the way home. The village green was the same bustling place. It had always been. This is what it looked like to everyone but sister. So just a nice friendly place with nice friendly people. This is what it looked like to her. Today, even the frogs and the butterflies seemed mean and scary. Look at everybody looks like they're mean and scary. And look at even the balloons look like they're mean and scary. Later, when someone tapped on her shoulder, she jumped a mile high, even though it was just mama. Look at she jumped and yelled and said, yipe! Poor sister. How is everything at the village green? Asked Mama on the way home in the car. Sister sat in front with, with Mama and brother rode in the back with the barrel of apples. All right, I guess, but there were so many strangers, said sister. Later at home, when Mama and sister were ready to make applesauce, Mama said, you know what Papa told you was quite right. It's not a good idea to talk to strangers or accept presents or rides from them. But, she continued, that doesn't mean that all strangers are bad. Why, chances are there wasn't a single person on that green that would harm a fly, much less a fine little cub like you. The trouble is, well, it's like this barrel of apples. There's an old saying that goes, there's always a couple of bad apples in every barrel. That's the way it is with strangers. Cubs have to be careful because of the few bad apples. Look, said sister, I found one. It's all bumpy and has a funny shape. Well, it certainly is strange looking. It is bumpy, said Mama, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. You can't always tell from the outside which are the bad apples. She cut the apple in half. See, she said, it's fine inside. Now here's one that looks fine on the outside, but inside it's all wormy. Yuck, said sister. What's up, asked brother. A bad apple, said sister. Double yuck, said brother. Hey, I'm going to the meadow to fly my new pusher plane. Want to come? Sure, said sister. I can pick some wildflowers. She felt so much better now, more like her old friendly self. The pusher plane was a great success and the cubs were about to head home when someone drove onto the meadow with a big, beautiful orange and green model airplane. Wait, said brother, I want to watch. It's a radio control job. Look at that is a big plane, isn't that? On the top of his truck. Sister went back to picking wildflowers, but before she knew it, brother was talking to the stranger. For that's what he was, a stranger no matter how big and beautiful his radio-controlled plane was. She dropped her flowers, her wildflowers, and ran over to them. 
I'm going to send it up and follow in the car, said the stranger. Want to come along? Wow, said brother, and he would have if sister hadn't grabbed his arm and said, Don't you dare! The stranger drove off following his plane and sister ran home shouting, Brother, talk to a stranger! Brother, talk to a stranger! But it was a big orange and green radio control job, said brother. That doesn't matter, said Papa. We have rules about strangers and they're important. We have rules about tattletales too, said brother, glaring at sister. Sister wasn't tattling. Tattling is telling just to be mean, explained Mama. And sister was telling because she loves you and was worried. Do you think that fellow was a bad apple, said brother? Probably not, said Ma Mama. That's right, said sister. Most folks are friendly and nice and wouldn't hurt a fly, but you just have to be careful just in case. Speaking of apples, said Mama, how about some of this applesauce I just made? As they sat having a dish of Mama's delicious applesauce, brother and sister thought about what they had learned that day. There was quite a lot to think about. For brothers and sisters rules for cubs, see the next page. Okay, so these are these are the rules for brother and sister. And you know what? These were the rules for for Papa and Uncle Kenny and Auntie Jossie when they were growing up too, because we wanted to keep them safe. Number one, never talk to a stranger. Number two, and and, and you know what? Papa will talk to you about these rules too. Number two, never take candy or other gifts from a stranger. Never ever go anywhere with a stranger in their car or for a walk. Don't keep uh, secrets from your parents, especially if someone asks you to. Your body is your own personal property and nobody else's business, especially the private parts. When you're little, of course, Papa and Mama and Daddy may help you with your bath or in the bathroom, and your doctor is in the body business and will have to examine you from time to time, even when you're not little. Use your common sense. We can't have rules for everything. Common sense is what keeps us safe by telling us what to do in situations that are not covered by the rules. So if, you're, if you kind of feel funny about something, then you should listen to that funny feeling. All right, well, that was the end of that book. I love you, I miss you, and I will see you again soon. Bye.